Uh oh, this can't be good. Hey guys. Hey everybody, it's the shape. Back to another video. Uh, you know how I like to gloat about the community the first 50 minutes of the video, so let's get to a few questions I've been asked. Like for instance, shape, why don't you get ghost equipment and review it? And I was like, hmm, but I already do do that, right? I got this. This thing, you, you guys know what this is capable of. It's the most expensive piece of ghost hunting equipment on the planet. And of course, I got this. But then it goes here. It is decidedly so. See, the ghosts manipulate all the fluids in the ball. Uh, and my newest piece of equipment, the ghost finder. You see that right there? Made by Craftsman, okay? There's a ghost in the wall. See, I, I review equipment all the time. And even though that's not their intended purpose, can you argue with this equipment or this equipment over a Ouija board or an app in legitimacy? I don't think so. Also, I just wanted to lightly touch on, of course, you guys know, you know, like World of Mr. Gray. This is utter bollocks. Uh, you know, purple, you know. So, what do I think? I think the shape is a right nutter. You no, know, Beardo gets scared. Truly don't know what he's talking about. You know those guys, and just all debunkers in general. New debunkers that are popping up. Uh, I've seen a, I've seen quite a few, and for me, that's fantastic. You know, uh, I don't see that as competition or anything like that. Now, four years ago, I probably would have been like, "Yep, that's competition." But the more you do this, especially online and working and building a community, you learn that. You know, everything ain't a competition. In fact, if anything, this community needs to grow. It needs to expand. And I could say I'm one of the originators of this new era of debunking. It's, it's fantastic to see it expanding with different channels, making their own unique content. Like uh, this new channel I found out called Paranormal party poopers. Do they say yes, squaw? Even wears a mask and everything. It's fantastic. And he's done one video, well, two videos, but he's done one video so far on sound. Fantastic video. And I'm not going to be able to do this forever. I'm going to do it as long as I can for you guys because the community, community we built, as long as I'm physically able, I'm going to keep doing it. But it's still cool to see others take, just hit the ground running and take it in their own unique direction because the more the better. There's a lot of fakes out there that need called out and there's not many debunkers. I want to see a bunch. I want to see it just explode on YouTube. That way all angles can be observed and all fakers can be caught. That is the goal. So, go support these guys. It's fantastic. That being said, let's get into this video. I wanted to address one thing. A few videos ago, I made a bad tasteless joke saying that a certain youtuber's audience were dumb and all this other stuff and i made dumb noises it was tasteless it was i shouldn't have done it and i apologize and i'll try to do better in the future now you know i love me those top five and top ten channels like uh you know sandbox 10 nukes <coughs> copyright claim uh bizarre bub is this one and the first clip just so happens to jump into a construction worker 
And why is that so fascinating to me? Well, it's what I do when I don't do this. You understand? I done construction for about 25 years and started on the ground as a ground man and worked my way up to head roofer. And I've done it all. I can, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none, I guess. But yeah, I just give y'all a little bit about me. Footage was posted by XAlien97, who works security at a construction site where the following chilling incident had taken place. In a very short video, XAlien recounts the events of that night. So I work security at this construction site, right? We got all the trucks. We got these real things right here. There you go. One of these. These things are heavy. Yeah, yeah, those things are heavy. So the odds are that it's not gonna like get picked up and fly off the ground. But I bet that big round hunk of wood with a little bit of wire rolled up on it, I guarantee you it rolls. Just a little backstory. It was a construction worker that he needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him, another worker, and he says, I got you. Just guide me and I'll push it for you. <clears throat> so I said, okay, cool. So he was guiding him. He kept telling him, back it up, back it up, back it up. And he was pushing it. When he was, when they were done, he went around the reel to tell him thank you. And uh, he says that uh, he was gone. He saw the man who had helped him push the reel. Eerily, the photo says he had passed away in 2015. That's, that's definitely strange, isn't it? Like, you're, that thing, I don't know how much they weigh. I can imagine probably a ton, at least a thousand pounds. I don't know though, but they're heavy, I guarantee it. But I also saw when he showed up a close-up video clip of this thing, I, I saw that it has these holes. Let's show a screenshot right here, Shape. It's got these holes that to me, a person could put a pipe through and roll it. All they gotta do is stand on the side away from the camera and just roll it. Roll it like this right here. I mean, it you can't see them on the camera, obviously. I, I just don't understand how people consider this paranormal. Well, this was an old guy pushing it. I was seeing him with my eyeballs, but when I went to say, hey, thank you, he disappeared. I'm not saying it can't happen, but which one would be more likely? Now, I do think somebody is on the other side of that big roly-poly, and they're rolling it. That's what I think. And those things weigh a lot, but they would be easy to roll, especially with leverage and all that stuff. But you better be careful when you're staging that stuff. If that thing was to flip out of control... Eerily enough, the person who was helping the worker with the reel suddenly disappeared. The following video doesn't have much info, as the original source is unknown, but even without knowing its origin, the footage is no less scary. Now, one thing I do love out of a lot of these top five videos are the B-roll that they use. You know, when they're talking about these paranormal clips, they'll show a spooky house that probably has nothing to do with the video, but a little bit to do with it. Like, and they were on this spooky mountain, and they'll show the footage of like Mount Everest, even though it's not that mountain. I really love me some B-roll like that. It kind of calms me. It the story goes that a man who lives in a village near the Swiss Alps heard strange noises coming from the mountainous region. He decides to climb the mountain. The story goes that a man who lives in a village near the Swiss Alps heard strange noises <laughs> When he gets to the top, 
he's immensely frightened by what he sees. Now, when I first saw the clip they're about to show you of what this dude sees on top of this mountain, I thought it was CGI, but being as the camera was moving quite erratically, I don't think so. And being as whatever these images are, the, the graininess matches pretty good. And then they show a thermal scan of it. And what do you guys think? But anyway, look at the clip. Comment below what you guys think this is, but it's not CGI because it was it's done too good. Uh, the grain matches up. This could be just two people in a robe. They are moving. I mean, they're going like this right here and all that stuff. Uh, could be just people dressed in a robe. I mean, could be a spirit, two angels, two demons. I don't know. But I'm leaning toward just two people uh, wearing old-fashioned type garb. Are there any demons in the house? Oh. Outlook good. <laughs> oh. In 2022, three policemen were dispatched to a house after receiving a call from a neighbor who reported that loud, strange noises were coming from inside. The neighbor stated that they heard deep, guttural noises and piercing screeches that were unlike anything they'd ever heard. On the night of New Year's Eve in 2022, a 20 year old woman named Kamilka had been inside the house with a couple of friends. They were all playing with a Ouija board with the intent of conjuring the spirits of the cannibalistic family and the victims they consumed. As all of a sudden, Kamilka began acting erratically and extremely feral before barricading herself inside a room. Bad boys, bad boys, oh, what you gonna do? Once again, we're at one of those really delicate things that you really don't want to talk about when it comes to paranormal. Is it a possession? Is it mental illness? Is it drugs? I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to the viewer to decide all this, even though I, I think they said she went to the hospital and they found nothing in her system, but it doesn't rule out mental illness. But let's take a look. They head outside and place a ladder against the side of the room where she hides. This, however, did not go as expected. Oh, 
Chodź, misiu. Nie bardzo jak świnia, kurwa. Chodź. Chodź tu, kurwa. Did you guys catch the subtitles just in? Let me show them to you one more time. Yo, who are you talking to? You don't talk to me like that. You better get that flashlight out of my eyes, and you better check my police record. Boy, that is really something for a cop to say, I guess. They said, uh, you know, come here, you biatch. Could it be a possession? At the end of the day, can't say yay or nay and be 100% sure on it, but I'm going to say nay. But either way, I hope uh, this lady, for the sake of her family, gets the help that she needs, or got the help that she needs. Now, unlike this one, can 100% debunk it? No. But the next one, been there, done that. In a previous video, I talked about a family in India who's been documenting unusual events inside their home. No bizarre bub, not unusual events. Staged fake events. Get it right. The family has seen more than just a couple of things move on their own, but also other small incidents that seem to hint at something way bigger from their house being suddenly infested with hundreds of maggots, which appeared out of nowhere as they played holy music throughout the house. There'll be food around the corner, food around the corner, food around the corner for me. Lubby dubby 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 doo. Hmm, maggots at your house. I got an idea, how about you clean that? Just a thought. <laughs> Little maggots, ugh. As Ernest once said, Ew. It's late at night when the family is woken up by mysterious noises. This is what was caught. Mysteriously, a mess has been made throughout the house. But most chilling of all is the video of how it all happened. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that fishing line was very chilling. Shut your mouth. Similar to a previous incident experienced by the family, the sound of small footsteps are heard running about without a trace. Now, given that the family has experienced this before, the family's not as scared or faced as when they first encountered this. It would be the following incident, however, that changes that. Only a few nights later, this was captured. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> keep rolling. Please note the camera work. It takes great skill to go. <laughs> Marcos Garcia is the owner of a small car shop that is currently operated by just one mechanic. This mechanic is the only employee at this workshop and it was just recently that he received a car from a customer who needed repairs on the vehicle. 
Both the business owner and the mechanic believe that there's something quite mysterious about this car. Now, you see what I'm saying about B-roll, beautiful B-roll like that. Uh, Volkswagen, I guess that's a Volkswagen Beetle, like, uh, have you ever seen the movie Herbie? The little white race car Volkswagen Beetle that races all the cars and wins and can talk and stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard of Herbie Fully Loaded. Well, this, <laughs> Herbie Fully Possessed. Huh? You're not laughing. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Why aren't you laughing? Hmm? I'll be in your closet tonight. Carry on with their daily assignments. But then one day, a very peculiar incident is caught on camera. Marcos, the business owner, is watching over the shop through a security camera when he notices the mechanic acting very strange. The old man was moving in such a way that it made him feel very unsettled. This is what he saw. ¿Aló? Oye, disculpa, pero ¿con quién, ¿con quién estás hablando? Oye, oye, cálmate, 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 cálmate. ¿Qué, don Carlos? Pero, oye, escúchame, escúchame un poquito. ¿Tú me estás hablando, tú me estás hablando del accidente de anoche? Claro. Juan, me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? Oye, ¿podéis su subir? ¿Sabéis qué? Oye, no, es que no estáis hablando con nadie, viejo. No estás hablando con nadie, Juan, y ayer los que chocaron murieron todos. Now, there's a reason I let that play through the whole thing. Because maybe it triggered something in your brain. Now, I'm sure that you've heard this story. It's like an urban legend. Whatever it is, it's been... Some variation of the story has been told a thousand times. But I'll give you a quick gist on the story. Fifty years ago, dude picks up a hitchhiker and she gets in the back seat of his car on a long, dark, desolate night on a back road somewhere. He sees her walking. It's raining outside. What's she doing out walking? She jumps in the back seat. She asks, he asks, well, where, where do you want to go? She gives him directions. She ta he takes her, pulls up next to this old house, turns around, she's gone. She disappeared. He didn't hear her get out. Now he's, he's like, what's going on here? So he gets out of the car, walks up to the house, knocks on the door, and an old couple answers. They're like, what are you doing here? He's like, uh, oh, well, somebody gave me directions to this place, a young girl. And when I turned to look, she was gone. And then they bring this picture and say, is this the girl? He's like, yeah. They're like, this is our daughter. She died 20 years ago on this very stretch of road. And every year, somebody always comes and knocks on the door. Blah, 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 blah. But you've probably heard some variation of the story, but that's kind of what they just told you. He's sitting there talking to somebody and they're like, no, 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 they died in that crash. Michelle A. and her small family live in a suburban home in Long Island, New York. Both she and her husband are happily raising four children while sounding a traveling petting zoo. Given how much they care for their safety, they install a nanny cam inside their baby daughter's bedroom. One night, while looking over at the baby monitor, something downright spooky is caught on camera. Bizarre, bub, you're beginning to sound like nukes. 
Anytime you say the word downright, oh, and what they saw was downright chilling. Now, on a positive note, we got some nanny cam phenomenon. And for me, personally, I just think it's somebody using the child as a prop. That's what I think. Michelle says that her baby daughter typically sleeps through the night, and if she were to wake up, she would usually cry out for her mother. But on this night, something unexpected happens. Watch. Now, I'm not saying this is real, but the kid's looking over toward the corner. It's not like he's looking at the door. And I really can't see anything that he sees. Now, this, out of all the clips in this particular top 10 video, this one would give me more pause to be real. I'm not saying it's real. It's probably staged. You know, there's many ways you can do it. But definitely, this one... It's creepy. Out of all the clips that's on this particular top five, this would be the most legitimate one, I would think. And I'm not saying it's real. Uh, to me, it doesn't look like the kid's looking toward the, where the door would be. You know, like daddy's poking his head in there going, <laughs> and the kid's reacting to it. It looks like he's looking dead center of the room, which I, I find that's, that's creepy, no doubt. Not saying it's real either. I'm just saying out of all the clips, this one would probably be the most legitimate one that I would pick. Definitely creepy, uh, but then again, you just never know. But anyway, I wanted to make a fun video, just have a little fun, kind of... I don't know if you know it or not, but when you do YouTube, you see the good of it. Uh, hey, we're almost at 20,000 subs. That's all because of you. Let's get to 20,000, and I could care less if I gain another one ever. Because I'm happy with the ones I got. You guys are amazing. But that being said, there's, there's some bad that comes with being a YouTuber as well. And over, over four years, you kind of, you don't show the bad much. You mostly just make content for you guys and have fun, and that's what we do. And especially on, you know, Debunkers Anonymous on Facebook that you can go to right now, where we talk Debunker 24-7. But yeah, it, <laughs> there's some bad. You know, one of these days I might make a video where I show you guys some of the crazy emails you get, uh, crazy comments you get, <laughs> everything from death threats to... <laughs> You name it, uh, you get it. But, hey, I wouldn't trade this for the world. The community that we are building, next level amazing, and you guys are my family, and I truly appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, right? Y'all come back now, you hear? Huh?